Good morning. So this morning, let's learn about special parallelograms. So what are these special parallelograms? So we have a rhombus, a rectangle, and of course, a square. So what are the different characteristics of this rectangle, rhombus, and square? So let's have the first characteristics, which is opposite sides are congruent. This is actually true to a rectangle, a rhombus, and of course, the square. The second is opposite sides are parallel. Again, it's true to a rectangle, a rhombus, and a square. The third is each diagonal makes two congruent triangles, which is also true to a rectangle, a rhombus, and the square. The fourth one is opposite angles are congruent. So this is again true to a rectangle, a rhombus, and the square. The fifth is consecutive angles are supplementary. So again, this is true to a rectangle, the rhombus, and the square. The sixth is all four angles are right angles. So this is actually true to a rectangle and a square, but not on a rhombus. The seventh is diagonals bisect each other and are congruent. This is actually true to a rectangle, a rhombus, and a square, but what's special in a rhombus and a square is that these diagonals are actually forming a perpendicular lines, meaning to say they are forming a 90 degree angle. Now, let's find the value of x. Let's try to choose what particular characteristics that we could apply here. Okay, let's have the first one. So, we have here a rectangle, F-O-U-R, with FU as diagonal and RO as diagonal, they are intersecting at point M. FU there is 3x plus 5 and RM is equal to 7x minus 3. Now, what particular characteristics we could apply here is characteristic number 7. Diagonals bisect each other and are congruent. So therefore, Again, diagonals bisect each other and are congruent. So therefore, we could say Fu is equal to the twice of Rm. Why twice of Rm? As you can see, Ro there is from Rm to Mo. So therefore, it's twice of Rm. So Fu, we substitute. That is 3x plus 5. So twice of 7x minus 3. So 3x plus 5, we distribute the 2. That is 14x minus 6. Now, 3x minus 14x is equal to negative 5 minus 6. 3x minus 14, that is negative 11x. Negative 5 minus 6, that is negative 11. Divide everything by negative 11. x is equal to 1. Now, we substitute. So, we have 3 times 1 plus 5, that is 8. And Rm is... 7 times 1 minus 3, that is also 4. So, Rm there is 4. From M to O, that is also 4. That's why Fu there is equal to twice of Rm since they are bisecting each other. Therefore, Fu there and Ro are also congruent. Okay, let's have the second one. The measure of angle FOR is equal to 36 degrees. So, find the measure of angle ROU. Now, let's choose the properties that we could use. So, we have here property number 6. All four angles are right angles. So, therefore, meaning to say, the measure of angle FOU is equal to 90 degrees. So, we could have here the measure of angle FOU is equal to the measure of angle FOR plus the measure of angle ROU. F, measure of angle FOU there is 90 degrees, so we substitute. The measure of angle FOR is 36 degrees. And since we do not know the measure of angle ROU, we simply copy. So 90 minus 36 is equal to the measure of angle ROU. So 90 minus 36, that is 54 degrees, is the measurement of angle ROU. Okay, the third one. So, we have here a rhombus FROS with a diagonal FO and SR intersecting at point O. So, we have here the given. If the measure of angle FTR is equal to x squared plus 41, find the value of x. So, 
in our rhombus, we will be using a property number 7. Diagonals bisect each other and are congruent. At the same time, they are perpendicular. So since they are perpendicular, as we had mentioned a while ago, this is forming a 90 degree. So therefore, we could say that x squared plus 41 is equal to 90. So we solve for the value of x. So x squared is equal to 90 minus 41. So x squared is equal to 49. We get the square root of both sides. So x here is equal to 7. So that's all for today. I hope you've learned something about our lesson. Thank you.